morning. Um, this morning I have, I didn't bring my strap because I didn't know if you would have a strap, but I have a belt, a nice D-ring belt that's fabric that's with use I'll make do for a strap today. I've brought a blanket too just in case I want to use that. And if you want to grab a pillow or a cushion, you might want to use that as well. We're going to do a, um, a warm-up as always. In our flow today, we'll go through several poses and um, make a little flow out of that and pull down at the end. So today I'd like to start in child's pose. And if you don't like sitting back all the way into child's pose, this is where a blanket can be very handy. We can bring our toes together, we can put the blanket behind our knees. Sit back and take some of the pressure off our knees. You might also want it under your ankles. Keep pressure off there. Or you can come up onto your knees for a modified child's pose. Here's where you might want a pillow or a cushion to put under your head if you prefer. Definitely bring your head all the way down to the mat. If that's not comfortable, feel free to use a pillow or cushion under your head instead. So whatever variation of child's pose is going to work for you, go ahead and settle back into it. I like my arms forward like this, but you don't have to do that. You can bring your hands stacked under your forehead. That's a nice, comfortable position as well. Some folks like to bring their arms back to their sides. So find a variation, like your cushion or whatever arm position to make this a nice, comfortable child's pose for you, and settle into it. Just become aware of your breath. Think about if you'd like to have an intention for today's class. If something you'd like to bring to the class or take from the class. And if you don't have an intention, I will offer the intention of savoring the moment. This is one of the practices that they say is conducive to our overall happiness. Stopping to smell the roses. Being mindful, being in the moment, and appreciating the moment while you're in it. So as we sink the child's pose, let's bring awareness to the lower back. The hips sinking toward the heels, the gentle tractioning of the back. Imagine how the intervertebral discs of your spine are decompressing. A couple more breaths here. Let's begin to slowly walk our hands in toward our knees and we'll sit up. Again, it's a slow sitting up. Taking our time so that our blood can return to the brain. We'll come to our comfortable seat. Feel free to sit on a blanket if you like. Stacking the spine. Rolling the shoulders up and back and down. Finding that lift in the sternum. Finding that mountain pose in the upper body even though we're sitting down. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Bring awareness to the breath. The inhale, the exhale. Let's begin to count our own head. The length of the inhale, the length of the exhale. Now let's begin to equalize the inhales and the exhales. So the same length, maybe you inhale for three and exhale for three, or inhale for four, and exhale for four, whatever. It's just it's your breath. Now we're going to add a pause after each inhale and each exhale. So I picture a square. I inhale up one side of the square. I exhale across the top of the square. Excuse me, I hold the breath. Set it wrong. And I exhale down the other side. And then I pause at the bottom. I inhale lifting up. I pause and hold the same number of counts. And then I exhale sinking. Pause. The 
same number of counts. So take yourself through that cycle a couple of times. And try to pace. And this is just about breath awareness to focus. Next time you finish the cycle, let's come back to normal breath. Still observing the inhales and the exhales. Let's make sure we seal our lips at this point with the breathing in and out through the nose. And we'll help us build some feet. We'll open our eyes. We'll switch the cross of our legs. Now stacking the spine nice and tall, up all the way through the neck. Lifting the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. Let's just tip the right ear toward the right shoulder and feel a bit of a stretch in the left side of the neck. And if we like, we can add a little extra resistance just resting the hand on the head. Not pulling so much, it's just adding that extra bit of weight. You can stretch a little bit, stretching the scalenes to the side of the neck. Inhale back up to center. And exhale, tipping the left ear toward the left shoulder. Stretching the right side, scalenes. Again, having the option to just rest the hand. This is a nice stretch you can do sitting in a chair. You can actually, with your free hand, grab the end of the chair, grab the seat of your chair, and just do the stretch that you're going through the day. Let's relax back to center. Let's inhale nice and tall. Trying to find length in the back of the neck. And then we'll tip this chin forward. But still lifting up the back of the neck. So we're not curling the neck. We're tipping the head from the top of the spine. And lifting the chin back up. Just turn the head to the right. Drop the chin toward the shoulder. Lift the chin, come back to center, we'll turn the head to the left, drop the chin toward the shoulder, we'll lift the chin, come back to center, bring our fingertips down, let's flow our breath, they tell it to rise. Exhale and press back down. As I rise, I turn my thumbs to point back. As I come back down, I turn my thumbs to point forward. Inhale, expand. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And just the left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Now just the right arm. Inhale. We keep flowing, alternating the arms. Right hand across the left body, and have a tall exhale and turn to owl pose. Pausing to inhale again, back to the spine, tall exhale and turn. Gently twisting the spine and relaxing back to center. Now sweeping the right hand behind, bringing the left hand across, inhale and tall exhale and turn. Pausing to inhale again, and lengthening up to the top of the head. Exhale and turn. Relaxing back to center. Now bringing our hands down to the mat, coming up to our knees. We have our knees under our hips and our wrists under our shoulders. You can always make a fist here. That's more comfortable for your wrists. That's fine to do. 
Just start by drawing the navel in and up as though we could pull the navel into our ribcage. It's our Uyana Bhanta. Sliding our shoulder blades down the back, lifting the sternum, lengthening the neck. Think about creating space between your ears and your shoulders. Inhale to lift your chest and tailbone, looking forward at the mat. Exhale, sweep your abs, curl in, looking down at your knees. Inhale to lift, looking to look forward. Exhale to sweep it in. Inhale to lift. Exhale to scoop. And back to neutral spine. Let's try to shift the rib cage from side to side. Slide it left and right. Coming back to center. Now we're going to roll the rib cage around. So we'll start with our cow. And we'll shift the rib cage to one side. We'll scoop into cat. Push the ribs to the other side and come back down to cow one time. We'll do two more times this direction. Round and around. And then one more time. Do cat. Push the ribs to the side. Come back to cow. Now reversing directions. Pushing the ribs out. Scooping under. Ribs out to cow. Two more times. Circling the rib cage. Then immobilizing the spine. Once more. Coming back to cow, go back to neutral. Now sliding the right foot back, curling the toes under, we're rocking on the ball of the foot, waking up the calf, mobilizing the ankle joint, and now floating that right foot across the left foot, looking over the left shoulder, we're rocking here. And then floating that right leg straight out behind us, with a flexed foot, very active leg, imagine you're pushing into the wall behind you. Let's bend the knee and circle the hip three times one direction. Reverse directions. We'll come back down to hands and knees. Now sliding the left foot back, curling the toes under and rocking. You might feel this all the way down to the palm and sole of your foot. And then floating that left leg across the right leg, looking over our left shoulder, excuse me, our right shoulder, and rocking on the diagonal. Now floating that left leg straight behind, again flexing that foot nice and active through the leg, trying to make a line with your spine. Now bending that knee, and circling three times in one direction, opening up the hip, and then reversing the three, two, one, and back down the hands and knees. Now inhaling the right arm into the air, and exhaling that arm under the body, reaching through, inhaling to lift, exhaling to reach, Inhaling to lift, exhaling to thread the needle, reaching right on through, coming down to the shoulder, rest of the temple on the mat. We can press this left hand into the mat to deepen our twist. We can walk the hand forward to open the side body more. We can wrap the hand behind and roll the shoulder back to open the shoulder more. I don't consider these different levels, I consider these different options, depending what you'd like to focus on. You can always just leave the hand where it was before. Let's all plant that hand back where it started. And then inhaling that right arm back into the air one more time, exhaling back down to the mat. Take a breath. On the next inhale, that left arm comes up. We exhale it under, we inhale to lift, exhale to reach, next time inhale, exhale, thread the needle, reach on through, bring the shoulder down, bring the temple down, you can press into the hand, you can walk the hand forward, opening the side body, you can wrap around, opening the shoulder, you can leave the hand where it started. 
just relax and gently twist. Let's all bring that hand back down to where it started. And inhaling that left arm into the air and exhaling back down. Now, let's sit back into child's pose for a couple of breaths. And inhale into a kneeling plank. We'll exhale the child's pose. Inhale to kneeling plank. Exhale the child's pose. Inhale to kneeling plank. Exhale back to child's pose. Let's settle in for a breath or two. And we'll slowly walk our hands into our knees and sit up. We'll curl our toes under. Our feet are about hip width apart. We'll roll back onto the balls of our feet. Let's inhale and straighten our legs, coming to forward fold. Exhale, sinking a little deeper into forward fold. The knees can stay soft. The head can hang heavy. You can nod the head yes, shake the head no. Releasing any tension in the neck. And then bringing the left hand to grab the right elbow and the right hand to grab the left elbow will come to a rag doll. We can sway in and out or side to side, releasing tension in the back from rag doll. Finding as much relaxation in the head, neck, and shoulders as we can. Now releasing our elbows, fingertips come down toward the mat. On our next inhale, let's slide our hands up our shins to a halfway lift the flat back. Keeping the gaze mostly on the floor so that your head is in line with your spine. Still sliding shoulder blades down the back, trying to find that mountain pose in the upper body, even here in a forward fold. Inhaling and exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling to halfway lift. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to fold. This time inhaling to circle sweep those arms and rise up. Bring our hands to heart center. And open our palms forward with starfish hands. Our hands are very active. We're not just hanging there, but they're full of energy. We're pointing out through our fingertips. Our spine is stacked. We're grounding into our feet. Let's just shift our weight from side to side a couple times. We feel, us, feel our feet grounding into the mat, coming to stillness. Let's peel our toes up and then roll them down one at a time. Then we feel secure, melting into the mat. Legs are active. Let's engage those thighs and try to lift your kneecaps. Let's come back to the Uddiyana Bandha, drawing our navel in and up, lifting our sternum, stacking our spine. Now letting energy flow down the back of the body, our shoulder blades are sliding down the back, the sacrum is sliding down. We're lengthening the lower back. Nice active mountain pose. Let's inhale and rise. Let's exhale to swan dive. Knees are soft, arms out to the side, coming into forward fold. Inhaling to halfway lift. Exhaling to fold, inhaling to sweep up. Exhaling to forward fold, swan dive. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come into heart center. Pushing our hips back, sinking into a comfortable chair pose. You can keep your hands in heart center here. You can come to cactus arms if you like. When we flow it in a minute, we'll have our hands passing through heart center. Sinking into our heels, sinking our hips back. Keeping that length in the torso, keeping those shoulder blades back and down. Let's inhale to sweep up. Let's exhale through heart center. Inhale to sweep up. Exhale through heart center. One more time. And then we'll add on. Inhale to rise. Exhale to swan dive. Inhaling to halfway lift. Exhaling to forward fold. Inhaling sweeping up. Exhaling through heart center and through chair. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling halfway lift. Exhaling fold. Inhaling rise. Exhaling through chair. 
inhale and rise. Let's just come back to heart center. And we'll take a step back with the right foot into a lunge. Keeping that spine stacked and lifted, that back leg straight and strong. I have my heel off the floor in the back. My front knee bent, my front knee over my front ankle. I'm going to inhale, let me just say here. I'm going to give you uh, an ongoing cue. Because as class goes along, I won't always have the time to say all this. Hands. You always have the option to stay in heart center. You always have the option for cactus arms. I will give the option, I often just call it and do it, to extend the arms up. If this is not good for you, I recommend not doing it, I would stay with cactus or prayer hands. The fact that I will continue to say throughout class, keep your arms up or whatever, doesn't mean you have to do it, you decide for your own practice. So from heart center or cactus, I'm going to sweep up and lift. Pivot my back heel down, coming into my warrior one. It's a long stance warrior one. So I want to try to line my heels up and try to square my hips, whatever I can square without twisting my back knee too much. In warrior one, that front knee's over that front ankle. Now you can see one leg is really straight, one leg is really bent. I'm going to inhale to lift and exhale, shorten my stance with parallel feet and come to hips. For pyramid prep. Now in pyramid prep, my feet have lateral distance between them. They're not lined up heel to heel, they're open like on train tracks. From here I inhale and lift my front body and I exhale to hinge forward into a pyramid, the long spine. Then I bring my hands to my leg for support. If you can reach the floor or if you have blocks, feel free. Come down here. But for today, we're keeping that spine long and lengthening. And then we're going to inhale and soften the front knee and step forward and exhale a little deeper to forward fold. On our next big inhale, we'll sweep and rise up. We'll exhale through the chair. Inhale to rise. Exhale to swan dive down. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to sweep up. Exhale to back to heart center. This time taking a step back with that left leg toward lunge. Front knee bent, back leg straight and strong, nice and active. Spine stacked. We'll stay here for a breath or two. Now, what we're building here is what we'll do later as a flow. So we're already flowing that part of the sun salutation we've done quite a bit, the uh, forward fold on the chair portion. We're going to add this lunge, this warrior one, and this pyramid to that to create a flow to that. So it's going to have a sweep up, and exhale, pivot the heel down, and then to warrior one. Feel free to adjust your stance as you need to, front knee bent, back leg straight, square the hips a little bit. Always sliding shoulders down, always sliding length of the neck. Inhale to lift, exhale to come to the pyramid track, we'll bring hands to hips, shorten the stance a little bit. Those feet on train tracks. Inhaling, lifting front body, exhaling, hinging forward, bringing hands to leg, blocks, floor, mat, whatever you've got. Breathing and sinking. Inhaling will soften the knee and step forward. Exhaling deeper into forward fold. Inhaling to rise. Exhale into your chair. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling to swan dive. Inhaling for halfway lift. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling to rise up. Exhaling to hard center. Find your breath. Make a little flow out of that. So we'll start with inhaling to rise. Exhaling to forward fold. Inhaling to halfway lift. Exhaling to fold. Inhaling to sweep up. Exhaling through chair. 
Inhaling to rise. Exhaling to step that right leg back. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling into warrior one. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling to pyramid breath. Inhaling kind of lifting the front body. Exhaling, folding forward. Inhale and soften the knee, step forward. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale through chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back, left leg, lunge. Exhale, sink. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior one, simply two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pyramid breath. Inhale, lift the front body. Exhale, inch forward. Inhale, soften the knee, step forward. Exhale, sink deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, through chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right leg lunge. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pyramid prep. Inhale, lift the front body. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, soften the knee, step forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, swan dive, forgot something. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, through chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, left leg lunge. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior one, settle in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pyramid prep, hands to hips. Inhale, lift the front body. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, soften the knees, step forward. Exhale, sink deeper to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Almost there. Exhale, through chair. Inhale, rise. Exhale, back to heart center. Find your breath. I'm going to turn to face you now without drinking water. So what you'll notice is we tend to inhale when we lift or open and exhale when we sink or close. Let's come to a wide stance and let's pivot the right heel to point straight out to the side and the left heel toward the edge of the mat so that left foot is more or less parallel to the edge of your mat. Hips remain squarish to the front. We're going to sink into that right knee, try to bring it over the ankle and I want to be able to look down and just see my big toe. I don't want my leg too far open or too far closed over, I just want to see the big toe. So I want really a big difference. I want to see a nice straight leg, nice and active, grounding down to that foot. I want to see a bent knee here. Now my front heel lines up with my back arch. Coming into a warrior two. Let's inhale to lift up and exhale, opening out to warrior two. Taking our gaze out past those right fingertips. It's a soft gaze, it's not really focused. Think about sliding your sacrum down. Lengthening your spine, levelizing your pelvis. So both hips are sinking equally here. Let's take a moment to savor the pose. Feel the activity in the legs. Let's inhale to turn our palms forward. Let's exhale to sweep our left hand to meet our right. We're grabbing our bow string. Let's inhale to open and draw the bow. Let's exhale to close and grab the bow string. Inhale to open and draw the bow. Exhale to close. Inhale to open and draw the bow. Exhale to close. One more time, just open. We'll remain open this time. We'll flip that right palm. We'll inhale to lift up. Coming to reverse warrior. We can just rest the left hand on the left leg. 
and feel opening in the right side body. Use breath to expand the ribs. Increase the stretch. Inhale and exhale that right forearm to that right thigh. You can sweep that left arm either straight up or out to the side, past the ear, or extended side angle. You can keep your hand on your thigh. You can bring your hand down to the block of the floor. We use the thigh today because we're going to flow this. This is easier if you flow it from the thigh, but whatever works for you is fine with me. Let's inhale to reverse warrior. Exhale to side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, back to warrior two. Take a breath. Now we'll shorten the stance. Now we'll straighten that right leg. Nice to straighten that leg, isn't it? Moving toward triangle pose. Pressing the left hip out. Sliding the rib cage to the right. Long spine. Right arm comes down, left arm comes up. Trying to stack our shoulders. Squeezing shoulder blades together. If you have your hand against your leg like I do, you can press and get more opening across your chest. This is not flexing the spine, this is hitting from the hip. Inhale, we rise back up. Come to center, take a breath. You might want to widen our stance slightly. Now we'll pivot the left foot so the foot points out to the side. And turn the right heel toward the edge of the mat so that right foot is parallel. Keeping the hips square. Inhaling, sinking the hips together. Level pelvis, sinking into that left side knee. Checking that we just did the big toe. Checking that one knee is strongly bent, one knee is very straight and strong. We're grounded to the outside foot. Tucking pelvis, inhaling, exhaling, warrior two. Taking the gaze out past those left fingertips. Again, a soft, unfocused gaze. Taking a moment to savor the pose. Breathe. Let's flip the palm and inhale, rising to reverse warrior. Again, using breath to open the ribs and expand here. Inhale, exhale, forearm to thigh. And sweep that arm either straight up or out past your ear for a side angle or extended side angle variation. Trying to make a nice straight line. Try to be aware if your hip is like straight or pushed out or sunk in. Or try to make a nice straight line here if you can. And we'll flow this. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. And inhale back to warrior two. Settling in, finding breath. And then shortening the stance and straightening the left leg, pushing the right hip out, sliding the ribs to the left, the long spine, bringing the left hand down, the right arm up, trying to stack our shoulders, open the chest, squeezing shoulder blades together, pressing against the leg, that's an option. Imagine you're pressed between panes of glass. Inhale to rise up. Bring hands to hips. Take a breath. We're going to turn our feet parallel now. We're going to roll our shoulders, interlace our fingers behind the back, push the knuckles toward the floor, pressing palms together. Let's take a forward fold and a wide leg stance here. Inhale, lifting the torso. Exhale, hinging from the hip. We're going to pause halfway down. We're going to roll the shoulders back, we're going to lift the arms off the back, and if this is good, you can hang out right here. This is far enough. And we can inhale and exhale, let's sit deeper, letting the head hang if you like. Lifting the shoulders, squeezing the shoulders, lifting the arms. And then we're lacing the fingers, bringing fingertips down to the floor, under the shoulders, coming to flat back. So now we're all in flat back with our fingertips under our shoulders, and a long spine. 
take a breath, lift your sternum, bring your awareness to your spine, make sure it's long and extended, not rounded over. So we're going to a twist from here. We have to be in a long, extended spine to a proper twist. Let's ground the left hand down and inhale the right arm up into the air. Spine stays long. Lengthen and twist. Use the inhale to lengthen your spine each time. Exhale, deepen your twist if it's available to you. Press into your left hand. Use that left hand to push off the floor. Inhale and exhale back down. Under that long spine, find your breath. Now we're going to ground that right hand down right below your nose. Inhaling the left arm up. Pressing into the right hand, opening the body, long spine, twist and reach. Inhale and exhale, back down. Long spine, forward fold here, about a halfway lift, forward fold. Finding breath. You can repeat that, or you can either ground that left hand, or the option is to take your left hand to your right ankle. Now keep the spine long, inhale and lengthen, exhale and lift. You might get a little bit deeper twist here, as you can pull against your right ankle. Inhale and exhale, back down. Come to center, lengthen the spine, find your breath. Then either ground the right hand down, or reach for the left ankle. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Lift the left arm as you exhale. That twist. Inhale and exhale, back down. Bring our fingertips beneath our shoulders. That nice forward fold, halfway lift. The wide-legged stance. Let's walk our hands over to the right foot and bend the right knee. Let's keep that right foot grounded and we'll flex the left foot. Sink. Wherever it takes you. Keep the foot grounded, please. Come back through center. Walk our hands to the left foot, bend the knee, flex the right foot, and sink. Come back to center. Come our flat back. We'll bring hands to hips. We'll shift weight into our heels. And we'll inhale to rise up. Take a breath. Let the blood come back to your brain. And step in. Let's do a quick tree pose today. It's always nice to do something for balance. And I will give you the options as usual. So we can ground into the right foot. Option one, we'll have hands at heart center. We'll bring the left foot out to the side like a kickstand. So I just have my toe touching. So I'm primarily balancing on my right foot. Option two, I'll bring my left heel to my right ankle have a narrow base of support so it's still harder than standing normally is. Option three, I'll slide my foot onto my calf, keeping that leg open, that hip open. Option four, I can bring my foot to my thigh, not the knee, but I'm going to push into the knee and bring up to the thigh. And press the thigh against the foot, foot against the thigh. You can grow our tree if you like. Magic up on the sky hooks that hold us up. Come back down. Shake it out. Shifting weight to the left foot. Bring that right foot out to the side. And the toe. We can bring the heel to the ankle. The foot to the calf. We can bring the foot to the thigh. Pressing foot to thigh, thigh to foot. Growing the tree if you like. Grabbing sky hooks. Right. 
and coming back down. Let's shake it out. Let's move down to the mat now. Cool down, stretch out. Let's go ahead and grab our belt or strap before I forget to use it. I'm going to roll, either grabbing one leg and rolling down to the mat on your back, or stacking your spine and tucking your pelvis and rolling down. We'll come down, let's take that belt or strap, let's wrap the strap around the ball of the right foot, and extend the right leg up. Now, we're sinking the right hip into the mat, so it's not one of these fields where the hip rocks up or over. The hip is sinking down, so we ground down through your hip bone into the mat. Let's try to keep that left leg nice and extended and foot flex, so it's active. And we're breathing and we're stretching. And that right foot remains flexed. Now from here, I'm bringing my left arm down and extending my right leg out to the side. You decide what range works for you. A little opening of the hip here. I've hit the wall, so I can't go any farther, but you do what works for you. Let's take two or three breaths here. And then bring it back up to center. Now let's bring the left hand to grab the straps. Try to keep that shoulder down as much as possible. The right arm comes out to the side. And now keeping the shoulders down, you're going to roll the leg across the body. The right leg coming across to the left side of the body. And breathe. Keep that leg nice and straight. A couple of breaths here. We'll come back to center. And we'll bend the knee and release the strap. Let's just shake our legs out. Let's draw the left leg in. Wrap our belt or strap around the ball of our foot. Extend the leg up. Don't forget to ground that hip down to the mat. So I'm not lifting my hip off the foot before. I'm grounding it down. My right leg is straight and strong. My left foot is flexed. My leg is extended. I'm not completely locked. I'm not like... I just have a gentle micro bend that the leg is basically extended here. And we're breathing, shoulders are down. So that stretch and those hamstrings. Now taking the strap or belt in the left hand, grounding the right hand down, extending that right arm out kind of gives you a little bit of you know, balance here, a little counterweight as we begin to take that left leg out to the side. Wherever it wants to go, whatever works for you. Stay for a couple of breaths. We'll bring it back to center. With the right hand, we'll take the strap. Now we'll bring the left arm down again for that counterbalance. Take the leg across the body. It's okay if the hip lifts a little bit here. But the shoulders do still down. A couple of breaths. Come back to center. We'll bend that left leg. Take that strap away and shake your legs out. Let's just roll over onto the belly here. Do a little bit of low back work. Let's start with a half bow pose. Not a bow like a tie pack, but a bow like a warrior draws back. So we're making our body into a bow. So I'm going to bring my left hand, my left arm down in front of me like this, and bend my right knee. Reach back with my right hand. I'm going to grab the arch of my foot. And then I'm going to kick into my hand. 
and lift my chest and my leg, making a bow out of my body. Relaxing back down. And I switch my arms. Right hand across the top of my mat, right arm across the top of my mat. Left hand comes back, grabs the foot, feet into it, and lifting up. Back up. Releasing back down. Now I'm going to stack my hands here. Some options here. I'm going to do a, a variation of locust pose. You can bring your hands behind your head if you like, or keep under your forehead, whatever works best for you. First set, I'm going to lift my legs up, so squeezing thighs together, just bringing the legs off the mat far enough to engage my glutes and lower back. Breathe. Relax down. Second set, I'll lift my chest and shoulders just enough to engage the back. Not trying to hyperextend it. I don't want to hurt myself. Just engage those back muscles. Relax it back down. Third set, I can repeat either one of those or I can repeat both together. Your choice. Lift. I breathe. Relax it back down. Fourth set, you can do both again or either one. You can repeat the same one you did before, you can do the other. It's really whatever you want to lift. Just remember this is a controlled movement and not an extreme flexion of your back. You don't want to hurt that back. So we're going to lift. And relax back down. Take a breath or two. Now bringing our elbows under our shoulders, we can have our arms parallel, or we can lace our fingers together, whatever you like. It's fine to be here. Our elbows under the shoulders, our abdominals relaxed, our lower back relaxed, our hips rounded into the mat. Inhaling, we lift the chest, press forward as though trying to draw the rib cage away from the pelvis, just stretching the middle of the body. Breathing and opening, and relaxing. Now let's push back, engaging our abs, protect the back. Come to a child's pose, toes together, knees wide. This is a nice counter stretch for those back exercises we've done. Breathing and sinking, savoring this moment. Inhaling and exhaling, walking your hands to the left side of the mat. You may want to place your right hand on top of your left hand. Inhaling and exhaling, we sit back into the right hip. It may have popped up a little bit when we reached across, it usually does. Now we're sinking deeper, expanding the right side body. Breathing and sinking and stretching. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing our hands back to center, settling in at center, grounding back into our heels, finding that length in the spine. And then inhaling and exhaling, taking our hands to the right side of the mat with the option to bring the left hand over. Inhaling and exhaling to sink into the left hip. Stretching the left side body, using breath to expand those ribs, going deeper into our stretch. Inhaling and exhaling, walking your hands back to center, settling in for a breath, for two, under the leg, under the leg. And then walking your hands slowly into your knees, twisting up, and dropping to one hip. Let's bring our feet together and open our hips with a lot of kanasana. Your heels can be about the distance of one of your feet from your torso. We're grabbing the ankles. Sometimes people grab their feet, and that's fine with me, but it does twist your foot more, so I like to grab the ankle. It is called bound ankle pose, I'm not sure. 
Yet how stark the sky and tall, lift the stone up. Find the length of the torso, when you exhale and press and fall. But that length is not rounding over the torso. You may find your elbows coming down to your thighs, and you can lightly press your elbows into your thighs. You can sink. And rise back up. Let's find a comfortable cross of the legs. Now, any cross of the legs will do for this next pose, but if you want to find more hip opening and a little more challenge, I invite you to stack your shins. So it's ankle over the knee and over the ankle. This is purely optional. Inhale in tall, we exhale, we release and round forward. Now we can round the back and walk the fingertips out. This is a pigeon pose if you've got your legs stacked, but it's a fine stretch either way. Rounding the back, walking the fingertips out, listening to the body, and letting the body tell us how far or how fast we can sink into the stretch. Breathing and sinking, inhaling and exhaling. In the chest, sink toward the shins, and walking your hands back in, sit up. Whatever you just did, whatever cross of your legs, we just want to switch sides now. Same thing on the other side. Bottom leg comes to the top, top leg goes to the bottom. Inhale tall, exhale pinch forward, walk the fingertips out, relaxing that over. Breathe and sink. Just begin to slowly walk your hands back in. And sit down. Extend the legs out. Push them out. Once again, either grabbing one knee and rolling down, or stacking the spine, tucking the pelvis under, come back down to the mat. Let's draw the knees in. Each hand grabs a knee. We stir like egg beaters. One direction, then reverse direction. Coming to stillness. Let's bring our arms inside the legs and either grab the inside of the foot or the outside of the foot, whatever you like to grab here. It's okay with me. Bringing soles of the feet to face toward the ceiling, drawing knees down toward the floor. Trying to bring the entire spine down onto the mat. You can rock from side to side in happy baby. Massaging the back. And then releasing the legs out and down to the mat. Letting the arms come down with the palms up. Closing the eyes and making whatever adjustments we need to make so we feel fully supported, so there's no effort in the body. Grounded to the mat, sinking to the floor, and able to totally relax. Just feel the weight of your body sinking. Down and down. And savor that sensation of being fully supported. It'll bring your awareness to the energy in the body. Just the sensation. Start at the toes. Become aware of the muscles in the blood, the foot. Ankles and up the thighs through the energy rising past the knees, the thighs, the hips, the abdomen, the whole torso is active in the body. You feel your arms energized. Now we bring our focus back to the breath, just to observe the inhales and the exhales. And follow that breath deeply to your Shavasana. 
Remain in your savasana for as long as you like. But whenever you are ready, we'll begin to deepen the breath. And bring movement to our fingers and toes. Circling the wrists and ankles. Reversal directions. Circling. Bending our knees, planting our feet, the edges of the mat, so we've got our knees fall inward. Gently windshield wiper those knees from side to side, and they'll rise and fall like ocean waves. And then eventually we'll just roll on to one side, stacking hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, resting head on the arm, eyes still closed, taking a moment just to savor the calm, the peace. And with as little effort and as much ease as possible, we press ourselves up to find a comfortable seated position. Bring our hands to heart center. Find the breath. Again, just enjoy this moment. Once. Thank you for sharing this practice with me this morning. Namaste.